Today's a story time, but it's also inspired from one of the coach's colleagues who I do have here. His name is Stefan. And dude knows his stuff. I like this guy. And he posted today about how trust, and I've also seen my other sales coach, I've seen him talk about how trust is at an all time low in the digital marketing make money online space. And I get it. I was at a space where I stopped trusting coaches completely and that hindered my progress. I take responsibility for that. It is what it is. And here's the story. Keep in mind the background noise of this is digital marketing space and people wanting to get started with some sort of make money online program, some kind of course, some kind of something because they're done at their job. They don't have anything for retirement. Student loan debts are driving them bonkers. Everyone has reasons for wanting to make money online. Okay. All right. Back in the 20 somethings, my husband and I went to this store. It wasn't the first time we'd been to this store. I've actually been wanting to tell this story for a minute. Is a store called Holy Sheets, and I think it might only be in Las Vegas. It's a place that sells bedding, pillows. I know they have these crazy fish tanks. It's always, always a good time. We loved going to Holy Sheets because they had really nice, soft sheet sets, and the price was always right. Very, very high quality, local company. It, it just checked all the boxes of stuff that we like. And I think we were in there one day, just like, hey, let's, let's, we have extra money lying around. So let's go get, let's go to the mall. Let's go to Holy Sheets and we get another sheet set. It's like, all right, let's get in the car. So we go out there and we're looking around. The sales staff over there, unbelievably nice and helpful and friendly. And also the same people we'd been seeing every time we went and got new bedding. So... That company's doing something right. That checks off a box, doesn't it? So we pick out our set, and then we kind of look over and we see these lines of massage chairs. At this point in time, my husband had been not liking his physical size, and he'd started doing um, a keto diet and going to CrossFit. Like, not little walks around the block. He's like eating nothing but meat and going to CrossFit because the dude goes hard. Gets in the massage chair and he, he sits in it because he's saying, yeah, every time I go to CrossFit, I'm like, I'm really sore. I can barely move for like the next two days afterwards. And they're like, oh yeah, that's going to help with, with your fatigue. It's going to help with like the, the muscle pain. It's going to make you feel great. And look, there's Bluetooth in the headset so you can listen to whatever you want. And then it's heated and it's got a massaging butt part and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh my God. And they're like, do you want to sit in it? I'm like, of course I want to sit in it. So we both had our 15 minutes in it. And they go, yeah, it's, they're on sale today. And we're like, okay, how much? $3,000 sold. We only bought one because, number one, we had the cash. At that, that was the point in time where we were a six-figure, I can't speak, a six-figure income family. Dual income, no kids. That was us. So if we wanted to drop $3,000 on a massage chair, sight unseen, but we liked the company, we liked the staff, we trusted their products, we had a need. It's like, yes, the runway is open get the freaking credit card out so yeah we picked it up they delivered it to the house they got it upstairs they installed it it worked everything was freaking beautiful i didn't really have a need for it my husband mostly did because it was for his like soreness to work it out after crossfit so he would continue going to crossfit this makes sense right we weren't just buying it to have a thing in the house. And he's like, yeah, this is going to be awesome for me. I'm going to love it. Guess how many times he used it? Zero. Bro did not use it. Question. 
Who's to blame? Is it holy sheets? No. It is not the salespeople at Holy Sheets telling us to buy this thing. Just buy it, just buy it, just buy it. I have to make a commission. Absolutely not. That is absolutely not what happened. He was gung-ho about this. He was ready. He was so happy he found it. Like I said, it's a company we liked, a company we trusted. The same people are always there. We've bought a ton of their products in the past. Massage chair, right place, right time. Money's in the bank. Let's freaking make it happen. And he never used it. We ended up giving it away. Not Holy Sheets' fault. It's our fault. And it's okay. Because sometimes these things happen. When you get caught up in the moment, when you hear something really good, and it does align with what you're looking for. Because there were not massage services at CrossFit afterwards. I'm sure if there were... If there were massage chairs over at CrossFit, I'm sure he would have taken 20 minutes over there and then come home. But there weren't. He can be here, be in the chair, everything's fine. But he never used it. Do I know why he ever, never used it? No. I have no idea why he didn't use it, but he didn't. Segway! Y'all ready? When you see a marketer or a salesperson telling you about a make money online experience, that checks all your boxes. Tired of your nine to five. You're tired of not having enough in the bank. You're worried about all this stuff happening out of nowhere. Cars on its last legs. You may have to move next. All this garbage. You're looking for a solution. Here it is. And then you don't do anything with it. If you blame the marketer or you blame the salesperson, you're a goose egg. This is personal responsibility time. Just like that massage chair was personal responsibility. I was annoyed for a while that we bought this thing and he didn't use it. After he said he was going to. It is what it is. We made sure it went to the hands of someone who was going to use it, so that's fine. But not at any point did we ever get mad at the people at Holy Sheets. Not at any point did we think... They pressured us into it. Ugh. No, we did that. We, we made a decision together to get it. Just like when I have purchased courses in the past, I made the decision to get them. I went through it. It stopped aligning with me. I'm not going to promote something I feel misaligned with because that's BS. You don't do that. You do not promote things that you don't use. You do not promote things that you don't believe in. That is why I have the one thing. If you do get started with me in the digital growth community with the Legacy Builder Program because you know you need the solution in your life and you don't do anything with it and you want someone to crab at, got a mirror in your bathroom, homie. It's as easy as that. And if that was not the thing you wanted to hear, sorry, not sorry, it's the truth these things you, you got to take it seriously if you're gonna take it anywhere at all and I understand that people aren't necessarily ready first day after they see me I wasn't I finally got my answers but I needed time to make sure that I was okay and ready to go if you're not ready to go don't go just don't do it you know, like I started a trust development. You got to get to know me a little bit. You got to get to like me at least a little bit. But trust, that's where you come in. And if you don't, why not? If you don't trust yourself to do the copy and paste and get your automated system, to get your domain, to go through all the training, to do the ad work, to show up to the Zoom calls and the mentoring calls, to watch the replays. If you don't do any of that, if you don't think you have to, then WTF. This ain't for you. At least in this moment in time, it might be. But when? I've said this a million times. If you're in the S-H-I-T-S in your financial life and you're waiting to see if it's going to get better, Y'all, when does that ever work? 
trying to watch my, my tongue here. But freaking for real, when does anything ever get better by waiting? And don't make me use like the most unholy, inappropriate example to illustrate my point, because I will and I'll feel like doing that right now. But I'm gonna go cool down my house, have some water. I had some ice cream, so I'm feeling a little sugar buzzed right now. But yeah, thanks to Stefan for inspiring. I've been, like I said, I've been wanting to tell this story forever. And it's like, all right, today's the day because the homie posted some real good food for thought. I had something I could build off with a real world example. How we spent $3,000 on a massage chair that my husband wanted and he never used it. Don't let that happen to you. If you're serious and you're in need of a solution, then come talk to me. If you're on the fence, keep watching me. If you think that you can buy from me or anyone in this community and blame them that you're not getting a result, then you were never serious. And this isn't for you. We'll see you tomorrow with another hot one.